And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are on Paladin, and uh, the countdown has finished up. Let's see who's on the attack. It's going to be Clock, guy who really came through in the clutch for them last time, obviously, with all those attack rounds. Yeah, look, he is ranked number one in North American Elite play. So that means, A, he's really good, and B, he plays a lot. So yes. Clock, you know, all that hard work is paying off right now. He got three attack rounds in that last map, and he's going to be the leadoff attacker here in the second map on Paladin. Trying to go for uh, a couple open shots here, but he's not able to find one quite yet. He's going to have to try to make a move here on this guy over at the elbow, but not able to land a shot onto him. Um, good movement there from Nicole, Coleman on defense. Uh, Clock here is going to go check the laser pad. No one is over there quite yet. AKM rotating over. He's going to yeah. Clock is going to have an open shot here, um, unless AKM plays smart. And it looks like he did. He baited out a shot right there. Yeah. Now, the point is now open. Clock's map management has actually been very good, but he's been a little slow so far. And now he's actually being chased down by all three members of Cole and just one armor remaining and he gets taken out. But he had done such a good job before with flying off to the side, making sure he was checking all those common defensive points, uh, but he just never was able to press the issue or get an open shot. Right. So sometimes that will happen if, if the defense has good movement. You know, it, it's really hard to land just, you know, a free open shot as an attacker. But, you know, sometimes they'll make a mistake and, and it's really all about capitalizing on the defense's mistakes. And now we have AKM going around the left side pretty quickly here. He's going to see, see, he's checking to see if anyone's playing up on the top. You can get up there. Um, clock missing a couple mid airs very closely. ID over there on the laser pad, taking one shot onto AKM. AKM is going to try to isolate him and take him out, missing that shot by 10 centimeters here. Although he is dodging these rockets and the uh, the lasers from oh, ID oh, oh, quickly, oh. but Rafa though comes around the side and takes two uh, two nice rockets onto ACAM right there. And there's that experience, there's that map awareness really from a top FPS pro as Rafa knew exactly where he was going to be at. So uh, now he's on the attack. We'll see what he can do. Taking the same path actually, or towards the same direction, I guess I should say. That AKM did last time. Rafa trying with a long range spam uh, laser there just to ward off players can't find anything at the moment. Has to watch out when you go through here, though, because you do expose yourself to that laser pad very quickly. Yeah, it is very true. Um, it's looking like Sturmy is still playing over there on the laser pad. All of Colin is close to the point, more or less aside from Sturmy. Um, ooh, Rafa missing that shot. It almost looked like it went through. Wins right there, but Wins playing some solid defense with some nice movement here. Lands a rocket onto Rafa. Rafa's down to one hit point, and ooh, ooh Wins with a nice prediction rocket right there, taking Rafa's head off. Yeah, knew exactly where he was going to be at, so we have already started to descend into a little bit of a defensive game. Uh, Wynn's going to try and turn that around. I I've noticed that the attackers that tend to be the most successful on this map are the ones that are able to get up onto the high ground very quickly and pick off an early defender. The ones that, if it even slows down at all, you don't even have to uh, just take control of the laser pad. You have to be able to pick off a defender because if you're three on one, uh, trying to assault this goal is almost impossible. Yeah, I totally agree. Getting that early pick is so crucial, especially on this map. And now we got Wynn's here kind of getting knocked off of the point. Um, down to one armor here, Clock playing some solid defense and landing that third man. rocket. So Clock, man, he is he's here to play. He is no stepping up again. That. Yeah, he is stepping up. Now we got ID here for SK. All right. Well, um, someone's going to have to break this, and I think it's going to become whoever takes the most creative, different attack path. Uh, so far, we've had three players that have headed up this way. We've had two that, or one that headed through the middle, one that headed off to the right. It was AKM that decided to go through the L grade right away, and I liked that because um, if you're able to pick off that defender who sits around the L grade to start off with, as wins uh, lands a nice prediction rocket, then you really set a good tone for the beginning of the round. Yeah, that's very true. ID already down to two armor, and wins with another nice shot onto ID. Um, he's got time, but he, he does doesn't have good position here. He's he's down to one armor, so he's gonna have to try to get a, an easy pick here. I like that little move he just did, um, but you know he didn't. He wasn't able to capitalize on it. Uh, missing an open shot down there onto the point, and now the point is open, so maybe he can try to go for a capture, but no, um, wins. Oh no, AKM there finishing him off. So not not the best attack around right there from ID, but you know it's, it it is kind of hard on this map. Yeah, it has been a fairly defensive set of rounds so far, though as. Um just everyone's laser seems cold right now. There's been not not easy shots, don't get me wrong. These have all been difficult shots. These defenders are all very adept. They put themselves in hard to get places. But everyone's just been a little bit off. Nothing is really connected. I think we've had, what, maybe one total defender die this entire time and we're on our sixth attack round? Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, they have been playing some, some really solid defense. Uh, ID on the laser pad this round, um, taking Sturmy down to two points of armor. Sturmy, there we go. That's the second defender that's died. <laughs> he takes out Rafa. Sturmy, another one. He takes out Clock right there. So Sturmy in a great position right now. ID's going to have to rotate back to the point. He's going to 
make. Um, Sturmy is going to have an open shot here onto ID at some point, and there it is. He misses two of them. ID is back onto the point now. Sturmy almost has a capture, but no, he just kills ID. So Sturmy, wow. maybe he could hear us, and he was like, I All think right, so. It's time, it's time to turn it on here. Um, so Sturmy getting his first attack round of the match, and now we have Clock. Let's see if he's uh, you know still on fire with his with his lasers. Yeah, and, and Cold Wind's team has always been historically very scary from an attacker's perspective because you start with AKM, who we mentioned before probably has the strongest laser when it's actually on. You have Wins who can take rounds off of any team in the world. And then you follow that up with an FPS legend in Sturmy. Like, right. that's disgusting. <laughs> um, AKM lands two quick shots on clock, and once again, SK in a position where they go down to, uh, in attack round early and they've got to rally back. Yeah, that's true. Clock is not in a great position here. He's spending a lot of time over here at the elbow, and AKM does take him out. So he wasn't able to make anything happen quite yet. Um, the score is now 5-2 to two in favor of Colwyn. Um, they, they do only have one attack round advantage. So if AKM, AKM loses this, they'll only be down by two points. But, um, you know, it's, it's going to be hard for SK to come back on this map, I think. Oh, agreed. Um, I mean, we saw how defensive this has been so far. We're seven rounds in. Uh, we've had one at six successful attack round. I like AKM coming and checking these laser pads, but that's a very scary place to be if you don't see anyone. If you're not able to duel anyone and pick someone off right there, you can see what happens. Uh, it was a couple of rounds ago when Rafa actually just came around the side and obliterated, I think it was wins. Yeah, and uh, ooh, AKM landing a nice shot onto Rafa, but he does take one point of damage. Um, so now he's, he's got a nice, ooh, open shot there on the clock, but he isn't able to land that. Um, he could have been a little bit more patient and lined that up a little bit better, but uh, nonetheless, we got AKM down to one armor. The point is open. He's going to have to try to jump it around like a crazy man, trying to see if he can, uh, you know, Mario stomp one of these players here, uh, taking out clock right there. So it's going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. Next shot wins, and ooh, AKM just barely losing that round. ID, again, with a nice defense. Yeah, there it is. And, uh, you know, that was really what kept SK in the game were those clutch uh, ID defensive rounds last time. Uh, he kept it only one attack round apart, and that's when SK was able to overcome it on the back of Clock's very good attack round. Um, but without those uh, great defensive rounds, SK would actually have been out of that match a lot quicker. So Rafa now on the attack. He hasn't been able to put a lot together in terms of attack, but he has really stepped up and been a great defender, uh, um, uh, you know, throughout the uh, the course of the last couple of maps. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, Rafa missing that one by nine centimeters he's down in the laser pit right now so not a great position oh so colwin decided to rush oh, them down and oh. wins with three rockets three hits right there that it looked like the, the round was turning around in rafa's favor but he kind of just ran into those rockets right there you've had those moments i know you have they're oh, so yeah. frustrating when you like you go to the left you get hit by rockets so you try to like juke to the right instead you get hit by another rocket <laughs> then you come back to the left and you get you greet the third rocket yeah. waiting for you it's just such you're like ah i just juked in uh the wrong way but yeah, exactly what happened the good one, two, three. <laughs> um, wins down to two armor here early on into the round. Rafa, open shot on nice. Rafa. That's an interesting defensive position that SK is choosing to play um, up there where Rafa was. Now wins in a great position. ID is going to have to rotate back to the point, giving wins a couple open shots. That was one, but he didn't take it. He still has plenty of time, though. ID inching his way back towards the point. So ID is now on the point. Wow. So that was some good defense right there from ID. Just the movement wasn't really giving wins. An open, an easy open shot, excuse me. And now wins. It's going to be up to him. He has two armor. The point is open. He's going to be able to take a couple more shots before he really has to charge that point and try to capture it. It's looking like he's making his way towards it, and he does take out ID. So ID wasn't able to clutch that defensive round, but he's going to have a chance to, uh, you know, bring things back in uh, SK's favor a little bit here. I've got to say, even though ID didn't end up winning that round for them just then, to be able to bait out those lasers and keep advancing one stage forward showed immaculate uh, patience in getting himself in position. Unfortunately, he couldn't follow through, but that that is actually a very textbook way to uh, to bring yourself back from a very far position, a way to get back to defend the, the uh, capture point. Yeah, juking the lasers, not really giving the, uh, the attacker an open shot. Um, per se, or at least if you are giving them an open, an open shot, excuse me, um, you know, using that sprint while um, strafing back and forth, left to right. Um, ID, though, it's not looking too good for him right now. He's down to one armor. The point is about to be open. Ooh, nice shot there over onto AKM, but he still has two defenders to deal with. The point is about to open up. Wins over here playing on the right side. ID is kind of, you know, pushed back a little bit. He's going to have to make his way towards the point. Missing that shot onto Wins just barely. Four centimeter miss, and he does get taken out, so it is eight to three right now in favor of Colwyn. All right. Well, we'll see here what uh, Sturmy can do. Can he close things out right now for Colwyn? They have looked very good. They've landed their last couple of attack rounds. The started as a very defensive 
stalemate, but uh, ever since then, Colwyn's just been dominating, and uh, SK's lasers have just not been on. Yeah, it's very true. Sturmy doing a little 360 at the start of the round. Did you <laughs> see that? Oh, like, yeah. Like playing like a little Call of Duty or something. <laughs> yeah, 360 no scope. No scope 360, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> uh, anyway, ooh, Sturmy getting pegged right there. Once by ID and a second rocket there from Clock. He does take out Clock, though, so Sturmy in a decent position. He's got the high ground. He knows that one player is over there by the lasers. He's going to try to see if he can. Ooh, that was close. They almost both hit each other right there. Yeah. Um, the, the point is about to be open. Sturmy taking out a rocket right there. He just looked like he shut that down. He's like, get that out of my He's face. Like, I'm oh, sorry. Like a rocket. Like a fly. <laughs> All right. Well, Sturmy, oh, he eliminates ID in the air, but gets hit by a rocket that was already fired. So it's eight to four now. Clock has to take this attack round. Then Rafa has to take the next attack round. Then they'll be tied if they land all the defensive rounds in the process. Yeah, so it's it's a major uphill battle here. It's like they're climbing Mount Everest or something. Um, it's going to be hard for them to do. Clock here deciding to go around the right side, um, making his way a little bit slowly over here. Um, let's see if he he's going to have to dodge the spam, and he kind of does. So that's that's one small victory for Clock here. Um, and he, he does have two of these Colon guys peeking out a little bit, so he knows where they all are for the most part. Wins oh, land. Oh, my wow. goodness. That was insane. Unbelievable wins. That was a very impressive. I just actually looked at him right there. He's like, oh, wow. Did, like, I, did I just do that? Triple midair right there for wins to take the second map. That oh, is amazing, oh. man. Wow. That was so good. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm very impressed by that. That's probably the most impressive defensive uh, round from one person I've seen in a while because oh, yeah. he actually not only had to be able to predict um, uh, Clock's movement in three different axes, the X, Y, and Z direction, but he had to be able to line each one of those up and fire to where his opponent would be, given that he was being hit by a rocket and change his momentum in midair. Like, exactly. that, just being 